We're down here at Vauxhall, the uh, indoor bouldering centre underneath Vauxhall Station, uh, to get a, turn our hand at a bit of uh, bouldering, that's the idea. Um, joined now by Tom, who's the centre manager here, and he'll be uh, taking us through a few exercises today, give us a bit of an introduction into the sport. Bouldering's climbing stripped back to its bare essentials. Um, so when you think of climbing, you think of big mountains, huge rock faces. Bouldering takes that and strips it right back to even two or three moves on uh, a wall up to sort of four meters in height above the safety of a crash mat. Mm -hmm. um, and you can really test yourself on, on strength, agility, technique, coordination, all of those things are required to overcome that short climbing challenge. Bouldering works every muscle, it really does. I think the only lacking point maybe is the cardio side, um, but in terms of agility and coordination and all round strength, especially um, core strength, um, it really comes into its own. Um, having to connect um, yourself to, to small holds on a wall uh, and make upward movement at the same time requires every muscle in your body. Um, so it's going to keep you conditioned for any sport. Okay, yeah. so it's not more upper body, more lower body, is it? Um, no, it's a common misconception that it's all upper body. Yes, upper body makes a big difference, but yeah, yeah you can certainly get a long way with balance and a bit of agility and good strong legs as well, yeah. No, it's yeah. transferring the weight through your feet your calves, everything's involved. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's kind of key for skiing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Solid lower body, moving yeah. your, moving your weight around. So yeah, absolutely. Sounds, sounds yeah, perfect. you'll see from some of the drills that we'll do that transfer of weight between your feet. Actually, the movement looks very similar to skiing. We're joined by Izzy, who's a member of the performance squad here at the Box Wall, um, and I understand you're a skier and a snowboarder. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, we I've never done this before, and the whole point of this is to try and find out how it's good for fitness for skiing, mm -hmm. fitness for snowboarding. Um, from your experience, I presume you've climbed quite a lot now. Yeah. How do you think it helps uh, your skiing and snowboarding? Um, I think it helps because it just generally makes you a lot more fit. Uh, it works sort of basically all your muscles and especially your leg muscles, which you need a lot for skiing, snowboarding, and also your balance. It sort of really helps with your balance, um, trying not to fall over too much, and also just your general confidence in you know trying new tricks and stuff like that. Okay, so as well as core cool fitness, the fact that you're scaling a wall, putting yourself into potentially difficult uh, yeah. or dangerous situations, it kind of builds your confidence on that yeah. side as well. It's a really confidence boost, especially when you do something like uh, you conquer a really difficult route, it just gives you that confidence boost and sort of makes you want to try sort of new things and push yourself in everything. Okay. So if someone wants to come and get involved, uh, yeah. what's the best way for someone, not necessarily in London, but centres mm -hmm. around the country, okay. how do you get started? Yeah. Um, well, bouldering's a boom spot. Most cities will have at least one bouldering centre now, if not a climbing centre that has bouldering as part of it. Bouldering's the accessible side of climbing. Um, literally all you need is a bit of chalk to keep your hands dry and some shoes that you can usually hire at the centre. We've got three arches, um, and in the centre we've probably got about 400 individual climbs. Um, they range in difficulty right from introductory level, so you can walk in off the street, have a bit of a loosen up, jump on, and you should be able to get to the top of the wall, right through to climbs and challenges that you'll have need to have been climbing for you know, years of training to, in order to build up the finger strength, agility, coordination, yeah. uh, and everything you need to get up that challenge due to the, uh, the size of the holds, the yeah. steep angle of the wall, there's lots going on.
So we've just come out of a couple of hours down here at the Indoor Climbing Centre of Vauxhall and Tom, who's the centre manager, took us through a few drills, introduced us to the different types of walls, the different handles and the different levels of difficulty. Um, it was really good fun, um, really works the core strength, really works the legs and it, it taught us to put our bodies in the right position and in particular balance. So after a couple of hours, I really feel like I've worked pretty much all the muscles in my body, particularly uh, the lower body, which is really good for skiing. So if you want to get involved, uh, head onto their website. They run introductory sessions for about 20 quid. If you don't live in London, get on Google and uh, yeah, Google indoor bouldering. Uh, apparently it's a boom sport and there's a lot of, lot of stuff going on. So get involved, really good fun.